Hi, my name is Sherry, and this is Cross Potent, a place where magical people meet. And this morning I'm in southern Illinois, enjoying a beautiful sunrise. And I wanted to make a video about alchemy. I've had a lot of questions about alchemy. What is alchemy? Um, alchemy is um, three different things. It's uh, the search for the Philosopher's Stone, the search for the Anakis Stone, and the search for the elixir of life. It's kind of what it's all boiled down to, uh, generally speaking. I know there's probably more avenues to it than that, but that's what I want to discuss here with the beautiful sunrise. I love the Illinois sunrises. Uh, Southern Illinois has just the most spectacular sunrises. Um, first of all, the Philosopher's Stone is supposed to turn lead into gold but we now know it takes two neutron stars to turn to to create gold uh the collision of two neutron stars to create gold so we pra in practical terms that's probably not going to be happening here on earth um the anakis stone is a stone that's supposed to help us communicate with spirits nobody knows where it is or what happened to it so i don't see much happening there However, on the elixir of life, that is an interesting uh, concept. The elixir of life is supposed to be an elixir that helps us uh, become immortal or to stay healthy and perpetuate us, perpetuate our health so we stay immortal um, or at least increase our longevity by a significant amount. But that, that basically breaks down into... Um, what I want to talk about today, which is the elixir of life. Um, there's a lot of different ways of looking at the elixir of life. Um, some people think it's a way of accelerating healing. It could be uh, um, some sort of uh, fruit juice or some sort of chemical, uh, like, you know, aspirin is like this wonder drug that... Um, they've discovered there could be some other wonder drug that uh, they might discover that can enable us to heal faster accelerate healing but a lot of people believe that uh, the elixir of life um, is a perpetual healing uh, where you need to keep taking the, the elixir of life to perpetuate your life and if you stop taking the elixir of perhaps you might start dying at that point or start aging at that point um, and then the other avenue that uh, people have looked into with the elixir of life is uh, the prevention of disease or prevention of pathogens um, uh, which would be creating a barrier uh, an actual antidote or a neutralizer um, then there's also another one uh, another avenue, I should say, that um, people have been following, which is the in vitro. Um, perhaps the elixir of life should be taken by a pregnant woman to create an immortal baby. That's another avenue for the elixir of life. So there, there's a lot of different things to uh, research and look into on this subject. I believe alchemy, modern day alchemy, has a lot to do with... Uh, chemistry and science a lot of what scientists and doctors do uh, would have been considered alchemy only a few hundred years ago so I consider the sciences um, modern day sciences under the umbrella of alchemy and I do believe they've made huge uh, leaps forward in cancer research in uh, disease and pathogen research that raises some questions uh, what if a 90 year old person took the elixir of life would it have the same effect as a young child taking the elixir of life uh, another thing would be what about a, a congenital defect a cleft palate I have a friend who has a an eye where he was born with a blind in one eye would um, taking the elixir of life heal something along those lines would it heal broken bone or uh, say a missing limb or you know a missing digit or something 
Um, there's a lot of questions about the elixir of life as to um, whether um, it's a, a healing substance or is it merely perpetuating your life where you live very long but if you lose your arm you lost your arm and it doesn't grow back so uh, there's a lot of questions about the elixir of life and how would it work and what would be its effects on people and uh, this is what I like to research uh, about alchemy and if you like videos like this you can like share and subscribe